Now, India's rising cancer cases are in focus after its government slashed import duties on three crucial cancer medicines. A report earlier this year dubbed the country the cancer capital of the world, projecting it could record roughly 1.6 million cases by next year. Ishan Garg traveled to Ganganoli, a place that's been dubbed India's cancer village, and follows us this report. Located just a two-hour drive from capital New Delhi, Ganganoli looks like any other North Indian village. But these green pastures are home to a population ravaged by cancer. Vipin Rati was diagnosed with a malignant tumor in his stomach two years ago. Even after eight rounds of chemotherapy, his health's been in steady decline and his resources all but exhausted after paying for medical care. Vipin tells me a third of the villagers here are affected by cancer. There's no official data to confirm this, but all locals we spoke to had the same estimate. Doctors told him it's possibly due to the water they are consuming. The Krishna River, the lifeline of some 6,000 households in this village, is severely polluted with industrial waste from nearby sugar and paper mills. Some children have been born with bone deformities, which locals blame on the water. Their families say, though they haven't been diagnosed with cancer yet, the spectre of the disease looms large. Cancer cases aren't limited just to this village. In fact, a number of villages in this region have reported rising rates of cancer in the past few years. And what do all of these villages have in common? All of their inhabitants use water from this river and its tributaries. A ruling Bharatiya Janata Party leader told the Indian parliament last year that this water is a source of cancer for 100 villages in this area. It highlights how environmental factors might lead to cancer in a country where two-thirds of the population live in villages with minimal health care services. India's National Green Tribunal has ordered multiple investigations into the polluters, but despite some action, locals say not much has changed. Akshay Rathi was diagnosed with cancer at 16. It upended his education and quashed his plans of becoming a professional wrestler. Now he is determined to change his circumstances and studying to secure a government job is his main aim in life. While Ganganoli may be an extreme case, India's cancer problem is not insignificant. According to government data, the country recorded about 1.4 million new cancer cases in 2022. That number could rise to about 1.6 million by next year. Doctors say India's rising cancer rates are due to rapid industrialization, increasing longevity, changing lifestyles and possible environmental factors. But new advances in the field of medical sciences and pharmacology are offering hope. I can name any number of drugs that five years ago we would not have imagined that we would be able to give these drugs to our patients on a routine basis. But with very active, again, public-private partnership uh, and with under a lot of schemes, we are able now to give these drugs to the people. One of these schemes includes the government removing tariffs on three crucial imported cancer medicines to make care more affordable. Officials have also begun a new national screening program focused on the most common cancers such as cervical and breast cancer. Several funds, including a federal health insurance scheme, a financial assistance program tailored to the poorest and a cancer fund have also been set up. But for Ganganoli's residents, access to care remains their primary challenge, one they hope local authorities will address in the near future. Ashan Garg, CNA, Ganganoli. This story is a part of a series where our correspondents in India, the U.S. and Italy examined the global rise in early and childhood cancer cases and what we can learn from one of the world's blue zones on preventing it. CNA correspondent, the changing face of cancer premieres tomorrow at 9.30 p.m. Singapore-Hong Kong time. Also catch it on CNA.Asia or on YouTube.